I'm going to show you guys today how to repin a broken Ford coil over plug harness adapter. Uh, this is a quite common breakage on the Ford engines. Uh, mine's a 5.4. I know they use these in a wide range of their engines from, I believe, late 90s all the way up until today or at least up until a few years ago. Um, I've broken about three of these. I have a 2008 Expedition. 100,000 miles. First, I replaced my spark plugs and broke one of the two of these actually. And then I just replaced my coilover plug and broke another one today. This one actually came out of my vehicle today. The wiring did not. The wiring is still in place in my vehicle, but the uh, plastic harness did. What breaks on these is the little tabs here. Either they'll fail to grab onto the plug. So this is a coilover plug slips it on and you'll see that it just pulls right off without even having to press anything and uh, second either this tab just breaks and falls down so uh, that's what's happened to me twice this time this one just doesn't stick I was getting a misfire I thought these plugs finally bit the dust uh, when I reached into the back I realized that this just pulled right off um, after replacing this harness and using the same coil plug uh, ignition coil my misfire was gone so Unfortunately, I had a re I bought eight of these to replace on the vehicle. 100,000 miles probably should be done anyhow, but uh, they didn't need done. So what well, the problem on my misfire was this harness had just come loose and the connection was loose. So let me show you how to switch them out real fast. All you're going to need is a push pin. Um, you can use a paper clip or some type of little hook, but thinner is better. And I found a push pin works great because you can hold on to it as well. And just a pair of pliers. Mine are tapered at the top, so these work out great. Just a little pair of needle nose, short stubbed. Um, you'll notice that the top of this is broke. Unfortunately, when I went to repin it in my vehicle, this plastic has gotten so brittle that it just broke very easily. The one, I got this from a scrapyard, paid about $2.50 for it, took, took it off another expedition, and uh, this one isn't as brittle, so it's in better shape. You can tell with the the color, uh, maybe you can't tell, but this one's a little more faded than this one. So this one's had a little bit of heat damage. But to get it out, I usually would come up from the top and push up very gently. Unfortunately, when I did that, this broke. Like I said, it's not a big deal. So now I'm just going to come in with my pliers, grab it, and just pull straight out towards me, and it comes out. Once that's out, that re allows these pins to be released. And to release these pins, I take my push pin right above it. If you looked in there you would see little plastic tabs pushing down on this metal. So you want to lift those little plastic tabs up. And when you do so, you kind of feel what it's doing and it'll allow you to release the plug. So there's one. And then the second, you just push in there. I find this little, this little wire is a little bit harder to get to um, or to get to release. But it's the same process. You just have to get it right on top of that plastic and lift that plastic up. And um, once you do, there you go, that comes right out. So ideally, this would be the part that you would just have taken off your engine uh, compartment and you can discard it. It's junk, it's not gonna work. So this wiring would have been left intact on your um, wiring harness so you wouldn't have to cut these. You wouldn't have to splice some new ones in or anything like that. You would still be able to use these Molex adapters. So taking my junkyard part, all I wanna do is come up here like I said, the first way I like to try this is uh, just putting my tips right there and using this piece as leverage and just very gently, you don't want to do it too hard or too quick because you'll snap that plastic, but very gently just push up and um, now see this one's caught a little bit, so just give it a little bit of force, not much, and then it finally released. So you want to keep this piece because that locks those tabs into place. Now, I just want to come in, like I said, this is my junkyard part, so pull the wiring pin out. Now, I already did this earlier today. And I put my old harness back together to show you how it was done. I did this right in the engine compartment. It was very simple. If these wires are still installed in my vehicle, the most important thing you need to remember is your thicker wire. Uh, in this case, it's my red one. This thicker wire goes, if you're looking straight down at the harness and the tab is on top, your thicker wire is on the left-hand side. So uh, I'm not sure what happens if you mix them up, but I don't think it's going to be good. This uh, little opening here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little opening right here this goes in the up position towards the tab so you just want to push that right in and uh, it locks in there again 
this little opening is up and there's your tab so just push it straight in and you won't feel it snap or anything but you'll know what's in when you look and you see the metal facing you right up front last thing you want to do keep those from going anywhere this flat side goes up on the top and it pushes straight back down in and you're done just make sure you have your gasket or your little o-ring whatever that thing is uh, in there that seals out moisture and uh, you're good to go so you wouldn't have to splice your wiring you wouldn't have to buy an aftermarket part like I originally did and whenever these break you can just put a brand new one on and it keeps everything original and looking good and uh, minimizes the risk of having a problem also you can see now snaps right on it's not coming off at all and it's a solid good connection the way it should be so hopefully this helps somebody like I said I couldn't find a video on it so I wanted to make one to show everybody how to do it and uh, hopefully this was a help so if you have any questions just let me know and I'll try to help you out it's pretty simple um, and like I said if this breaks on yours on this is a little pin this little red part here breaks don't fret if it's the old one on your car buy a couple of these at a scrap yard I paid 250 a piece for these Ford went $60 for one of these little harness pins uh, Vance Auto Parts wants $20 for a uh, harness that looks exactly like this unfortunately it's aftermarket so it's not exactly the same so these Molex adapters these won't fit in to it I've tried that so uh, this is the best route to go if you wanted to keep the original harness all right, I hope that helps. Thank you.